It's a pleasure to be out here on behalf of the Board of Carroll County Commissioners. And I just want to thank all of our folks that work in emergency preparedness for all the work that they do to put this event together, but also for all the work that they do on bright, sunshiny days like this to make sure that when we do have difficulty and we do have weather issues and we do have other emergencies, that Carroll County is always ready, is always prepared, and that we're able to take care of the needs of our citizens. So we're very, very lucky to have the folks that are here, and we always have to be mindful that every time a first responder or anybody involved in law enforcement and public safety does what they do, they put their lives in jeopardy, and they do it for our safety and for our benefit, and you can't thank them enough for that. So I'm very pleased to be here. I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you. We want to welcome everyone to the uh, Emergency Preparedness Expo that we host annually in, in Carroll County. It's uh, basically all your emergency services plus our private partners and our allied agencies that uh, provide services to the citizens of Carroll County during times of emergencies and disasters. So what we're trying to do is showcase what resources, allow the residents to have an opportunity to ask questions and discuss uh, issues that they may have so we can better prepare and better serve the citizens of the county. I really like the information on the fire control and what plants to avoid and what plants can help your yard as far as dryness in the summer and preventing fires. That's something that we deal with in our neighborhood a lot. Well, I'm here with my Brownie Troop and I think this is a wonderful program. They're teaching us all about fire safety, emergency preparation, and there's information and the child ID program and I would definitely recommend it to another group. I liked the FEMA bus. I thought that was pretty interesting. The girls loved getting on the fire truck and all the safety gear and playing with a fire hose, of course. <laughs> Just learning about fire safety, especially for kids. The safety house uh, was a good demonstration for kids to learn about what's safe and unsafe in the house. I think they said it's the ninth or tenth year we've been out here doing this and uh, it's just great to be out because people don't realize how much effort goes into this. Budgets have been tight for years. A lot of what gets done in Carroll County gets done by volunteers and, uh, and in terms of our staff, you know, we have a very few people doing an awful lot of work. So it's important to support that. Well, I think emergency preparedness is an, is an important service that uh, we have for our citizens within Carroll County. I think it's great for our citizens to know the kind of resources we have. Emergency Command Center, Fire, EMS, uh, Carroll County Volunteer Emergency Services, and uh, it makes me feel good, should make our citizens feel good knowing that we've got uh, these fine men and women here, these volunteers here to help uh, ensure that we can handle any emergencies that, uh, that uh, may, may come our way. People see the investment that's been made in commitment, some of the things that are available, so they have a sense of what Carroll County is capable of if we have a serious emergency. But the other thing is just a lot of information exchange. Like for instance, we have information today out here about our veteran shuttle. A lot of people may not realize we provide free service to take veterans to the VA hospital uh, uh, down in Baltimore. They may not realize some of the other services that different agencies provide or things that they can do. So what really excites me is when you can get folks from the public out, it will help that it's a wonderful uh, weather today, and, uh, and really exchange that information. Because in an emergency, having access to the right information or being prepared in the first place makes all the difference. I mean, it makes a difference between life and death. Carroll County is in the process now of designing and building uh, the Public Safety Training Center. It's going to be about a four and a half, five million dollar project to give them state-of-the-art facilities so that our volunteers and our paid staff, our law enforcement, have a, a state-of-the-art facility to train in. Uh, that's critical. That's really important. We continue to add new equipment, but the other thing we're starting to see also is even more interaction between the different agencies uh, from a planning standpoint so we all know what's coming down the road and how agencies can work better together, which in an emergency is critical. You have lots of different agencies uh, that have to come together and operate almost seamlessly uh, under the worst of circumstances. All the discussions, all the preparation, coordination that you can do ahead of time makes that much easier to do. So we're proud of that. Well, I, I love this because quite frankly, I mean, uh, this has the air of, uh, of, of uh, 
of a trade show, of a vendor show. Uh, and, and I'll even go so far as to say we have the tents, we've got the equipment on display, the men and women that uh, our citizens can talk to. Uh, it creates kind of a festive affair, and a, fest, a, a festive atmosphere, and uh, I think it's very enjoyable. And I encourage our citizens to come out here and, uh, and learn more about what our county and our volunteers have to offer them. I'm very proud of our emergency services. You know, Carroll County is very fortunate to have volunteer, a volunteer fire, fire, firefighting force. That's a, a very unique treasure that our citizens should not take for granted. And I'm very happy that we have competent people like Scott Campbell and Jim Weed who are looking at uh, trying to project uh, into the future the kind of uh, needs we might need in the event of any kind of emergency or catastrophe. And right now, uh, while our citizens are safe at home, making plans to be able to cope for these emergencies in the future. And I feel like we're starting to get ahead of some of these things, and uh, that makes me feel comfortable. We are one of those emergency services that are available here in the county to help citizens in time of need. I serve on the emergency planning committee. I've been very involved over the course of years as has the city in making sure that the, the city's prepared just as the county is prepared should there be an emergency. So we work very closely with our partners around the county in a variety of disciplines that you see here at this event today, uh, making sure that we have the proper plans in place, that we exercise those plans so that when there's actually a need to use those skills that we have them and that we do, the, do it well. We have a lot of allied agencies. For an example, we of course have the uh, Emergency Management Division in county government. But our partner agencies are also the Health Department, the Carroll County Volunteer Emergency Services Association, the Sheriff's Department, our Health Department, um, a lot of volunteer agencies such as our Amateur Communications, um, Carroll Hospital Center is our partner, and of course the citizens in general. So uh, we're showcasing what we provide to the citizens on a day-to-day -day basis and what our capabilities are. People seem very interested in what's going on here today. I've heard a number of people talking about uh, that they've signed up for some classes to make themselves and their family more uh, aware of emergency preparedness issues and what they need to do as a family to be prepared. Uh, some of those classes, uh, the literature is here today so that people can sign up to take those classes going forward. So it, I think it's, uh, it speaks well for the folks here in Carroll County that they understand that there is a need for this, that these emergencies can strike locally. In fact, all emergencies are local emergencies and they'll have to rely on the services that you see here today should that occur. It's great for them to get an opportunity to come out here and see those services and kind of interact with the people involved, learn some new skills. Well, I've been with the Sheriff's Department for about five and a half years, and just about two years ago, um, I got into the canine unit with this department. One of the best things that I, I it was a great decision. Um, I love having my partner with me at all times. Um, he, you know, it, it becomes a, a, a fear factor, you know, when there's a dog present, it, it can de-escalate a situation really quick. Also, my closest backup can be anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes in Carroll County, and my partner is going to be with me at all times. He is trained to do handler protection, so if anybody were to harm me, push me, or anything like that, uh, he will engage and do everything to protect his handler. He is a certified patrol and narcotics dog. He does vehicle scans for narcotics and he'll also do building scans. On the patrol side of it, uh, he does tracking for suspects, missing persons. Um, he'll do uh, building clearances so we don't have to risk the injury of a, of a deputy or another officer. Uh, to go into a dark building, we can send the dog in there and the dog will actually locate the suspect um, and apprehend him until I get there. What I got? Seats. This is Buell. Um, this is, he's a Belgian Malinois and he's three years old. We started him on the road when he was just one. So that's pretty amazing. Um, we'll have him on the road for as long as he can work. As soon as he starts showing any signs of um, age, seats. Um, We'll, we'll retire him at that point. <clears throat> the dog does live with me. That's a very common question I get. He does come home with me and live with me. <clears throat> um, we'll just show you a little bit of obedience on how well the dog listens. <clears throat> Seats. Leave it. 
Leave it. Oh, leave it. Good area for you. Yep, I'm good. Okay. Good boy. Come here. Foos. Foos. Seats. You want to get that for me? Thank you. Foos. Foos. Seats. Thank you. Foos. Foos. Seats. Platz. Platz. Okay. Platz. Fuß. Bravo, I'll get it. Good boy. 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 <clears throat> Out. Come on. Up, up. So you can see, I'll just explain what just happened. Um, he's got that toy. That's what he works for. He loves that toy. I will throw that toy, and he's not allowed to get it unless I say he can have it. Otherwise, he does not, if he goes for it, that's not listening and that's bad. Um, never had an issue. I'll throw the ball and he will always respond. And it's the same way with a suspect. If a suspect takes off running and the guy gives up, I'll tell the dog to down or I'll have him come back to my side because at that point, if he gives up, there's no need to engage in any kind of bite or aggression work. Oops. Seats. All right. <sighs> Sheriff's Department canine unit. Suspect behind the vehicle. Step out now. <clears throat> Obey all commands or I will send my dog. You will get bit. <clears throat> I need you to put down the weapon, sir. Put down the weapon or I will send my dog and you will get bit. <clears throat> Final warning, put it down or I'll send my dog, you will get bit. <clears throat> Foos, blitz, Foos. I have seats. <laughs> that was a recall. Gentleman gave up. No reason to engage the dog. <clears throat> this time he's not gonna give up. Sheriff's Office canine unit, put the weapon down, I'll send my dog, you will get bit. Final warning. Put the dog, put the weapon down, I'll send my dog, you will get bit. Fucking. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Yeah, just kind of keep going so he doesn't transfer for me. You good? Yep. You can keep yelling at him. Get off me! Get off! Stay still for a second. Try to. Oh, Ooh, a little growl. Ouch! Foos! Bravo, bravo. That's good. Yeah, no, actually, we're going to do uh, obedience. Just walk beside me, okay? Foos. Leave him. Leave him. <laughs> Over here by the shade, leave him. Leave him. Have a. S and at this point, we, when the dog's here, we can have another deputy 
go up, safely search the, the suspect, make sure he doesn't have any weapons of any kind. If he were to take off running, it's not a smart idea because he's here and he'll get, he ain't going, he's attached. He don't care about the balloon, he doesn't care about anything. I don't even have to watch the suspect at this point because my partner's got him. He's ready and he just wants to tear him up. Thanks, Mike. I really enjoyed the Oval Art Expo. I haven't seen many of the demonstrations yet, um, but I have met some people that I'm going to contact later on for our Lions Club of Look program. Some contacts of how to uh, set up a Red Cross shelter and things like that. So I've really enjoyed it and uh, I expect to uh, be here for a couple more hours. I just thought overall it was very informative and I liked how they related it to um, situations you could actually be in and everything. It was just very informative. I think the expo is uh, pretty fun. I mean, it's got a lot of good activities that teach uh, the community about a lot of the preparedness and what goes into the preparedness of an emergency and having fun activities like the drunk driving simulator is pretty fun. Absolutely, I'll be back next year. I think what you're seeing here today is a collaborative group of county employees, volunteer agencies um, that come together, as I said previously, on a day-to-day -day basis to make the, the county a safer place and improve the quality of life for our citizens. We are losing Mary Ann Souders. Uh, she has been an emergency management planner in the county for uh, the last three years. And one of her responsibilities has been to uh, head up pulling all this together, the expo and the various agencies and, and, and planning it. I'd just like to say that, that I think the citizens of Carroll County are very proud and should be proud of the work that our employees and all of our volunteers do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, a lot of times they go unrecognized uh, until disaster hits, but if you come today and you see, uh, you'll be very impressed with uh, the services that we offer to the citizens.